How can I effectively use role-playing in training or teaching sessions? Hello and welcome. Today, we're delving into an exciting topic, role-playing in training and teaching sessions. Role-playing isn't just for the theater or video games, it's an effective and engaging method to enhance learning and development in a variety of contexts. Let's unpack how to use it effectively. Why use role-playing in training? Role-playing, in the context of training or teaching, is the enactment of scenarios to help learners better understand and handle different situations. These scenarios can be either hypothetical or from real-life experiences. Role-playing is a powerful tool for several reasons. 1. Active learning. Role-playing promotes active learning, where learners participate actively rather than just absorbing information passively. 2. Problem-solving. It encourages problem-solving and critical thinking as participants navigate through the given scenarios. 3. Empathy. Role-playing helps learners develop empathy as they get to step into someone else's shoes. How to develop effective role-playing scenarios. Now, let's discuss how to create effective role-playing scenarios. There are a few key steps to this. 1. Identify learning objectives. First, you must know what you want your participants to learn from the scenario. The learning objectives guide the development of the scenario. 2. Create realistic scenarios. The role-play scenarios must be realistic and relatable. This increases participant engagement and makes the learning experience more meaningful. 3. Define roles clearly. Each participant's role should be clearly defined. This allows for focused and streamlined role play. How to conduct role playing sessions. Moving on, let's examine how to conduct role playing sessions effectively. 1. Brief the participants. Brief all participants about the scenario, objectives, and their roles before starting the role play. 2. Facilitate the role play. During the role play, let the participants navigate through the scenario. Your role as the facilitator is to guide and steer the discussion if necessary. 3. Debrief after the role play. After the role play, conduct a debriefing session. This is where real learning happens as participants reflect on the role play, their actions, and the outcomes. How to evaluate role playing sessions. Evaluation is a crucial part of any training or teaching session and role-playing is no exception. Here's how to do it. 1. Feedback. Collect feedback from participants regarding their experiences and lessons learned. This can help in adjusting future scenarios and improving the training. 2. Measure learning outcomes. Compare the learning objectives with the outcomes of the role-play to assess its effectiveness. So there you have it. A comprehensive guide on using role-playing in your training or teaching sessions. Remember, the ultimate goal of role-playing is to facilitate a deeper understanding and apply knowledge in a practical, hands-on way. Happy role-playing, and here's to more engaging and effective training sessions.